also say that uh, counties are not doing very well at this juncture because for three months uh, we have not received monies uh, from the national government. And so even when some of the counties are not able to pay salaries, although in Makweni we try our level best, including getting loans from banks to pay salaries, to do some very essential things, but a lot of counties are doing very badly because for three months uh, we have not received the revenue that is expected from the national government. Of course, we do appreciate that there is a shortfall in terms of revenue collection because of uh, the COVID and the way in which the economy is depressed. But the reality is, if there is no money coming from uh, the national government and also if there is a shortfall in terms of money coming from our own source revenue, then it means that the country is in a bad uh, situation. And uh, uh, that is why I would like to appeal uh, that uh, whatever money is we, uh, which uh, KRA and so on collects and are raised from whatever other sources, it should be a priority to pay salaries of workers, both national and county. On the whole, workers at the national level tend to get their salaries in time. But uh, counties uh, have an issue. Uh, we are not getting those salaries. So even as the health personnel say that in some instances they are not receiving salaries, it is not really uh, because of county government's laxity. Uh, it is because funds are not flowing as should be. Uh, and even as we go into Christmas, as we go into the new year where uh, parents will need to send their children to school, uh, one really hopes the national government uh, will be able to raise uh, some revenue, particularly for uh, uh, salaries, uh, so that we can enable uh, our workers to uh, get paid. Uh, we know that in the country, after the depression of uh, the economy, uh, we know that public servants are one of the groups where at least there is income expected into households. And so for the entire country, it is important that public servants are kind of facilitated uh, so that this stream of income flowing into households is uh, uh, maintained. Uh, I also need to make the point that a lot of the development that is happening in the country, particularly the county levels, is development from development partners. Uh, because a lot of the monies that we get go into, uh, the monies go into uh, O and M, and our current expenditure. So when uh, USAID helps us, World Bank helps us, EU helps us, the bilaterals help us, particularly the county level, this is what sustains a lot of the development expenditure by uh, the counties. And we don't take this for granted, particularly as a COG. And that is why, uh, like all those investments that we do with USAID, are very worthy investments uh, for our uh, our our people, and and we continue to appreciate uh, those. Uh, it's unfortunate that at this point in time, uh, during the pandemic, uh, the health personnel uh, at the national level have decided to go on a strike uh, because there is on the one side. The government, both national and county, and on the other side, there are the people of Kenya, uh, many of whom really uh, wish services during an emergency. Uh, I am not denying people their labor rights. As a human rights lawyer and a constitutional lawyer, I am live to the fact of uh, the uh, labor rights of uh, 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 people. Uh, in the situation of Makwene, uh, as the minister was able to explain, 
uh, even before the national strike, we were in negotiation with our uh, workers. And uh, uh, many of the things that they asked for, uh, when we went to court, uh, these things, and we were told to negotiate, to uh, continue talking, instead of the matter being resolved uh, through the <laughs> process, to first of all negotiate. And we are doing well in terms of those negotiations. And uh, Makwen is one of the counties, I believe, where uh, many of the things that were being asked for have been provided. Uh, except things that are not in our uh, docket. Uh, for example, risk allowance uh, from the national government, because that risk allowance must be okayed by uh, uh, SRC, uh, and then provision for it, like happened last time for three months, also made available from uh, the national uh, level. Uh, if it's a question of people who had come to employment uh, as uh, people on contract, uh, and they had applied, and they knew what they were applying for, and uh, they are not even members of the union for now. Uh, if uh, we are being told that we must make them permanent and pensionable, again, SRC at the national level have to indicate that that uh, is what they want as policy for the entire uh, country. And they authorize, because if they don't authorize, even if you had the money, uh, it would not be released by the control of budget. Uh, for that. Uh, if it's the insurance, we have done that. If it's the PPEs, we have done that. You know, we have done all those things. So one feels frustrated that even when as a county, you do many of the things that are required, uh, because there's a national strike, you're also bundled up with, uh, uh, with everybody else. Uh, uh, but of course, uh, sometimes labor tries to extract whatever benefits they want when there is a dire situation. Uh, but I uh, call upon the health workers of Makweni to still come back as, because even before the national level uh, strike, already uh, uh, the courts had said that there shouldn't be a strike so that we talk together. And uh, eventually talking together is what resolves matters. Uh, and, and, and I, you know, uh, of course, some of the propaganda has been that uh, we pay, we pay 30,000 to nurses and clinic officers, and that's propaganda because that's not a fact. So people also should perhaps desist from uh, uh, propaganda meant to incite, uh, to incite uh, 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 workers. I remember some time back, in October, early, early, last, early this year, His Excellency the President and uh, President uh, Donald Trump had a conversation, and uh, President Trump promised to send uh, 200 ventilators to, to Kenya. And uh, these indeed came, and USAID is grateful uh, to the Council of Governors, to the Ministry of Health, to the county leaderships for really helping to organize and see how these would be distributed in, in, in Kenya. And uh, the ventilators which came, 200, are being distributed in different counties. And essentially, these are meant to help where we have acute cases of, of COVID. So this will help to save lives in these uh, cases. In terms of uh, the entire uh, donation, it is just not the ventilators that we are seeing. There are other consumables that are involved. First of all, we have uh, personnel who have been trained, and these personnel are there to help us in terms of uh, operations, in terms of uh, management of these equipment. Also, we have uh, insurance. I think it's a service contract, sorry, service contract for the whole year that is accompanying. So it is a bundled service. So apart from uh, 
the ventilators, there is a capacity that has been built. Then there are consumables including power UPS, an interruptible power supply to enable operations even when we don't have electricity at given times. So this is a package that is coming in really to help us fight COVID. As we have been told, our role basically is to continue doing the three things that are important, to keep a safe distance, to wash hands, and also to be able to sanitize as much as possible. In terms of uh, the ventilators that we are providing also, they have uh, been uh, for ease of monitoring and uh, for ease of being able to see where they are and where they are working. They are, they are inventorized. So we have, uh, I think when they'll be received, they'll be inventorized so that it is easy to monitor where they are and how they are operational. In terms of uh, the overall support, I think you said, uh, as I had mentioned earlier, is really pleased to engage with, with, the, with the county. And as you have said, we are on a journey. And our journey basically is to work with the counties to help uh, counties and Kenyans as ourselves to be self-sufficient so that we are able to do our own development. So we are on that journey to self-reliance to help us as much as possible to be able to do our own things.